feel an uneasy sense of creeping dread. Of course you do. Everyone's happily sipping root beer floats and my brother's mooning over a girl. You should have arrived by now. Right down there. Beatrice! Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on a series of Unfortunate Events Season 3. So, we're finally back doing videos on it. I'm really sorry that I haven't got around to making any other ones. My schedule has prevented it, but I do have a Season 2 video going over all the Season 3 references in the past season that will be going up sometime, hopefully later this week or later next week, as we head towards Season 3, because I do want to do more videos. Obviously, I will be covering all the trailers, all the new photos, all the new information that we get as we get closer, and I'm about a week late on this information. Sorry about that. It came out just at the end of October, so October 25th. Now it's November 1st, so finally getting around to it, but let's break down these first look photos at a series of unfortunate events season three we're going to be seeing the last four books that are going to be adapted in the new season so the first book is the slippery slope the second book is the grim grotto the third book is the penultimate peril and the last book number four is the end so those are going to be the four books that the episodes are based on this season and let's get right into breaking these photos down so the first photo and this is all coming from ew is of count olaf and we see him in his new attire and this seems to be like this is in the grim grotto episode because it seems very submarine like and the background is obviously the eye is a big reference to that and he is there along with Carmelita and also Esme and his whole crew they're all there and Esme is actually dressed in an octopus suit which actually happens in the books which is very very exciting to see they're actually bringing it to life on the TV show because it's rather ridiculous and that's what's so great about a series of unfortunate events and by this time Count Olaf as far as I can recall actually isn't under any like fake dressing or like fake appearance like say him being the coach or anything so as far as I can recall he is not disguised as anyone that's the word I was trying to get for but the next photo from EW is an interesting photo as we see the Baudelaire's with Kit Snicket and yes they've confirmed it's Kit Snicket in Jacques Snicket's taxi as we saw at the end of season 2. Lots of people thought this was Beatrice obviously it was definitely rooting towards something like that or Kit Snicket because we hadn't been introduced to Kit Snicket as of then and she's a big part in the last few books so apparently they're making her role bigger on the TV show but I'm excited to see that and then we move on to the next photo and you can see the Baudelaire's they are reunited with Sunny and they are in the Grim Grotto episode and they are all in their submarine gear. I don't actually know what the actual terminology is for the gear that they're wearing but let me know in the comments down below if you actually know. But that's part of that episode and as I mentioned earlier Esme and Carmelita are in a submarine and Esme is wearing the octopus suit that I mentioned and Carmelita's in a rather ridiculous looking tap dance fairy cosplay like costume which is very very funny and very very Carmelita. As we go on to the next photo our last one from EW is Count Olaf and it seems like this is him like midway through one of his sort of evil schemes with everything lighting up in flames in the background. I can't pinpoint what episode this is in fact in but that is another really nice photo that they released but along with this they released a new book and this ties into the books that we've been seeing and that is the incomplete history of secret organizations and they released a whole load of new images that are inside there. I can't get my hands on all of them because there is just god knows how many but I'm going to be going through a few major ones like this one that I will have on the screen right now and you can see Lemony Snicket holding what looks like the sugar bowl in his hand and it seems like that female figure is in fact Beatrice which is very very intriguing I really do hope we get a lot more flashbacks to what's going on because last season that was one of the most interesting things the different strands of narrative that they implemented and 
I thought it worked really, really well. And so go get the incomplete history of secret organizations. I literally ordered it today. So you guys should go do it. Go read it. And also they released some tie-in covers for the new episodes. And you get to see the various looks and the various things that they're going to be doing. Like the slippery slope. You got Sunny and the other Baudelaire's in the background. And Count Olaf. And it just teases what's going to be happening. Same thing with the next one. It does seem like Count Olaf is in disguise for this one. I don't entirely remember his disguise name in the Grim Grotto. I haven't read it in quite a while. I do wish to actually go over and read them all again by the time of season three. And then the penultimate peril, you get to see them in the hotel that we've been teased with in the secret passages. Hotel to Numon and the end we see the Baudelaire's on the boat and Count Olaf in his final form So if we move on to some of the other photos that were teased in that other book Obviously there is so many out there. We can't really like go through every single one of them but some people have managed to actually get the photos because they've got the book already but you get to see the Baudelaire's in their hotel attire in the penultimate peril that's a nice teaser for that and you get to see a final photo of them on the island in the end so the very final last two episodes and that's with their boat where they're gonna have the final showdown with Count Olaf and Justice Strauss actually returns in one of the photos and she's got the incomplete history of injustice with her and so she wasn't in season two she was in season one and she's reuniting with Count Olaf which is very exciting and another major photo that was released online was one of the old VFD headquarters burned down you can see in the background on the walls there's tons of VFD signs and it's all burnt to a crisp and this is most likely the bit where we meet Quigley Quagmire just before then because there's a major fire in the VFD headquarters in present day. That's a link to what's going to be happening there. And there are various other photos of Kit Snicket as she stands outside of her taxi. And so there is so much to actually go through and look forward to in this season. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Obviously, I couldn't break down every single one. Like I said, there is so many, but go get the book. And also, please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any videos also apparently a new trailer is supposed to be coming out very very soon get ready guys i'm so excited anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later goodbye